So the tournament kind of got an unofficial start in 1989 up in uh, Kootenays, up in Canada. And then the first uh, winter sizzler was actually in 1990. And it's always been a really fun social atmosphere. Always been a co-ed adult tournament. It was great competition, but it was always more about the culture and the environment. And what really cemented that is the tradition of the Saturday night social. So it took a year off in 2013, and I contacted them and asked them if it would be okay uh, if we imported the tournament down here. So we got all our partners together with the Sports Commission, Evergreen Region, the Public Facilities District, and like the Doubletree Hotel, and everybody kind of chipped in to make it work that first year. In our first year, we had 31 teams, and we're now up to 96 teams. This is now the largest indoor co-ed tournament, at least on the West Coast. It might be in the country at this point. A lot of tournaments, you know, it's get in there, play, do this, do that, and, and you're, you're just playing in the tournament. But I mean, this one, they have the bar, they have, you know, it's all set up as a uh, making friends thing and, and a community thing. This tournament is definitely special. It's my first time here, uh, but it's very different than any tournament you'll ever play in. And I keep coming because it's great environment and it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's an experience all in itself. Like just the atmosphere and energy is amazing. So yeah, people coming from Canada, like other states, Oregon, and it just gets everyone to come together and play like really competitive volleyball, have fun, drink, and kind of just hang out. What we've cared about more than anything was carrying on the culture and making sure that the vibe was still here and that people could be up there playing a great match and then they go ref with a beer in their hand. You get a chance to rub elbows and have a good social event afterwards. It, it makes those relationships and those bonds more, uh, more solid. That whole big dinner together and, and everybody going out together really was cemented here. And it's just become that annual tradition. You know you're gonna see your friends at the Sizzler. It's amazing to see this level of event come together. It's really well organized. You get a ton of courts, a ton of playing time. The people who put it together do a great job of putting it together and it really helps everyone like get in the flow of playing all the games. When you throw a tournament this big in a venue of this magnitude, it takes a village to pull this off. It's about six months of planning and a lot of logistics. This is all portables. Tons and tons of volunteer hours and the staff has to basically start on this in the summertime in order to get it ready to pull off. It's just nice to see the different levels of play that is out here. I mean, from open to A to B to rec. I mean, just watching some of these upper level teams, I could only dream to be that good. And it's been funny, as we've grown and grown and grown, it was like, well, you know, the only way we could do it is we could add another court if we take the bar out. And everybody's like, mm, nope, nope, not gonna happen. That is central, and that is the backbone of this whole you know, vibe we're trying to bring to the tournament. And whether that's pounding 90s hip hop music, or people repping with a beer in their hand, or just the great shirts people come up with, and costumes, and the team names, and the jokes, we, we had to really draw a line in the sand that this is an adult tournament and it's for adults. You can grab a drink before or after you play or like earn a drink after you're done playing, so it's great. That I love it and I'll, I'll keep doing it as long as my body allows. It's what I look forward to. One of the things that I look forward to every year is just getting to come, come here and play. I just hope that this tournament keeps growing and growing. I love it. I'm definitely gonna be coming back for years to come. If you've never done it before, come out and play, put together a team. <laughs> Come out and have fun. This one's uh, quite fun.